good YouTube, welcome back to JY's Adventures. Hope y'all are doing amazing, man. If you tune into the video, you are a legend. This one, we got how to beat the high school death game in Signal 100. Now, y'all might be wondering how the heck I'm reacting to this video when it got taken down. Luckily, it's a blessing. Someone re-uploaded it. And we're about to check it out, man, because I really wanted to see this. And now I get to watch it enjoy it and react to it with y'all as well as you guys know this is by cinema summary i'll put the link to the original video and cinema summary's channel in the description and if you're new to the channel be sure to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell and watch until the end guys without any further ado let's go you and your classmates have just been hypnotized into a death game your friends are dropping dead one after another. And what? anything you say or do can be the trigger that kills you next. What? You can't call for help. You can't escape. And the Which only way out is to betray your friends and eliminate everyone around you before time runs out. Everybody murdering themselves. Field, where any thought can end Shit. your life, what do you do? I'm going to break down the mistakes made, what you should do, and how to beat the hypnotic death game in Signal 100. Everybody bodying themselves. All of these students should have stayed home because they're about to have <laughs> the worst day of their lives. I see Everyone's a pattern here. For class to begin, and none of them care about following the rules. This girl's texting in class, and this guy here has even Sleeping overdosed in class? his pain meds just to cure his boredom. In another oh my room, gosh. Isuko Yoshikawa meets her teacher, who tells her she can't be late again. She doesn't take it seriously, but then he hands her a CD and taps her on the forehead. I her used to eyes be... suddenly flash white, and she goes into a hypnotic trance. I used she doesn't to be late to school yet, but she's a about lot. to get all of her friends killed. The girl enters the classroom and puts the disc into a DVD player. Oh, but when her no. friend approaches and asks what she's doing, she says she doesn't know. The lights suddenly turn off, and a creepy oh, video no. plays on the projector. It's mesmerizing, and They're the students can't them. stop themselves from watching. They're all confused about what they just saw, but Yoshikawa here carries on as if nothing happened, asking her friend for his notes on the exam. He insists he can't give them because she was late to the meeting, but as soon as she hears this, everything starts to go wrong. She stumbles her way to the balcony, where she stands on the railing before throwing herself what? off the ledge what? 10 meters Duh! to her death. No! Her classmates no! are horrified, and this guy tries no, to no, call no, for no, an no, ambulance, no, no, no. but he's suddenly triggered and can't stop himself from biting into his wrist. He walks what? back into the room as he rips open his veins and drops I dead, freaking I saw everyone out. Blood. But it doesn't stop there, as several students run for the window and throw themselves off the building. All of them Okay, we've all had bad Mondays before, but this is f***ing crazy. When yes, six students is. die out of nowhere, it's they important to remember off. exactly what happened and how, because there's definitely more going on here under the surface. Now, memory loss is a natural defense mechanism to protect ourselves from emotionally traumatic events, and this will make your memory extremely unreliable. But we would still be able to pick up that this guy tried calling for an ambulance right before he died, which is yeah. really strange behavior for someone with a death wish. This one hint gives us reason to think these kids did not do this voluntarily, but were somehow being controlled. The surviving classmates have no idea why this is happening, and that's when the teacher walks in. Sometimes I'll be scrolling through TikTok, right? And I get the urge to do exactly what them kids just did. <laughs> I get the urge to do exactly what them kids just did when I'm scrolling through TikTok sometimes. <laughs> The surviving classmates have no idea why this is happening, and that's when the teacher walks in. He looks over the balcony at all the dead students, but this guy is being way too casual about this. Oh, Walking man. back, he tells everyone that this is only the beginning, revealing that the remaining 36 students in the class have been hypnotized, all and if they hypnotized. perform certain actions, it will activate a signal in their brain that will immediately kill them. Hearing Fuck this, yeah. a girl panics and tries to tries call, to call mother, for not help. realizing she's just activated one of the signals. She suddenly enters a hypnotic trance and she pulls out her tongue before biting it off. Kashimura here tries to stop the bleeding, but her friend ah. is already dead. Wada here asks if using the phone is one of their signals, and the teacher confirms that it is. But there are a hundred signals total, and they'll need to figure out what those signals are if they want to stay alive. They just gotta be good okay. classmates, this schoolmates. Everything. Now we know for sure that it's not some death pact and that every single one of us can die. So I'm going to make sure I have as much information as possible to stay alive. Right, right. now, this teacher clearly knows more than we do. So we should be he thinking about how info. to extract as much information from him from as him. possible. Now, if he doesn't cooperate, then as long as this teacher is in the room, we have one weapon we can use against him. And that, that is this video. As soon as the girl put it on, nobody could look away. So I would play the video in front of the teacher and it would trap him. Try to hypnotize him. If we follow his movements and decisions, then we can learn quickly what is safe and what isn't. 
Right. This guy has heard enough and grabs the teacher by the collar, demanding Bad he get move. rid of their hypnosis. Bad but this move. was a huge mistake because right. he suddenly lets go and starts bashing his head against the wall, much to the horror of his friends. Tell the teacher me. reveals that getting violent with others is also a signal and will get you killed. What I'm noticing is basically you just gotta be a good kid in in class, bro. Go to your seat and start doing your 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 work. Go open your books and start studying. <laughs> this girl is overwhelmed and breaks down into tears, but suddenly she smashes a vase over her head and dies. The teacher ends his morning lecture telling them that crying is also a signal, and with that, he leaves the room. This student again tries to chase after him, but the man spins around to threaten him that exiting the classroom might also be a, be signal. a signal. Now they're all too scared to leave, and nobody knows what to do. Okay, with 97 unknown signals, we still don't know which actions will kill us and which oh, we got a death this count. teacher has given us clues that walking out of this classroom is completely safe. First right. of all, he only explains what the signals are after a student dies from dies it. When from he it. left the room, he gave us a warning. This completely changes the pattern. And that it means man, we have a reason to doubt it because if leaving the class was a real signal, he would have let this student walk out and die to prove a point. Right. He also goes out of his way to congratulate Wada here for figuring out one of the signals. This kind of positive reinforcement means he wants us to figure out the rules on our own. Walking out of the classroom is just his challenge for us to find out the answer by ourselves. It might even suggest that staying inside the classroom will get us killed because we're ignoring his instruction. Right. Now, when everyone is scared for their lives, they all want to be told what to do. And if we walk out the door, this one completely safe act of bravery can put us in a position of influence and power. And the next time we need someone else to test a real signal, but they'll be easier for us to manipulate. Wanting to see he for himself, the Wada door. here walks out of the classroom and of course doesn't die. That man a badass. Escape, the other students follow after him and search the premises for the runaway teacher. This girl tries to leave the school grounds, but just as she passes the gates, she triggers a signal and breaks her own neck in front of everyone. They can't leave the school without dying. Oh, that was horrifying, bro. That was disturbing, bro. Oh, man, I turned off the... Ah, uh, uh, I don't want to watch it again. In front of everyone, they can't leave the school without dying. She Dang. made a fatal mistake, but there's one more thing to consider here. Yeah, we that. don't actually need a living student to send for help. Depending on how far away the school is from any traffic, I would convince one of my classmates to use the dead students, tie them to a skateboard or anything else on wheels, and, and sit as many of them, them down out? this hill as they can. If they make it around the corner into a crossroad below, it's very likely will that a dead it. body will be investigated, which will lead others to the school. Bringing outsiders into this situation is a risk, but if we don't say a Big word to the brain. or explicitly ask for help, then we might not trigger any signals. But they're also forgetting one important thing. They left What's their that? most useful weapon in this fight back in the classroom. If you were watching the hypnotism video carefully, you would have seen that there were images of a list that flashed on the screen. Right oh, now, wow. knowledge is power. So I would pressure someone to rewatch the video in private, and once I know that it's completely safe, use those signals we learned to gain an advantage. Get, That's when the teacher appears, info. revealing that their parents think they're staying overnight, and calling for help will activate another signal. Of this course, girl, Sona, though, using the cell phone. her hand to ask how to get rid of the hypnosis, and the man agrees to tell them. They follow him back into their classroom, but they stop at the doorway, too afraid to enter. These kids are taking nothing for granted now. They, the they, teacher invites them in and reveals the smart. one and only rule to this game. Whoever is the last person still alive will be cured of their hypnosis and set free. He thinks this death game will be beneficial to the society, but when person? he hears someone whisper, so what? The man enters into a trance. This girl Kashimura steps forward and confronts him, but the teacher isn't listening, as the trance leads him to the railing outside and he falls to his death. He kills- Okay, now that he's dead, he might actually be useful to us. The first thing how? I'm doing is checking his body for any other clues about how to stop the hypnosis. But if we don't find anything, then this situation has just gotten a lot more dangerous. Not only are there a hundred signals that can kill us, but we can only escape them if everyone else is dead. Before all the backstabbing begins, I would tell the class that there's one more thing worth trying to cure the hypnosis. These signals have been implanted into our minds through this video, but they might not affect us if we somehow alter our consciousness. I would try alter to treat this by rebooting my brain, and the easiest way to do this is to press on your carotid arteries to block the blood oxygen from flowing into your head until you pass the f*** out. When the blood flows back and the brain restores consciousness, it might be enough to break the post-hypnotic trance and flush the signals out of your mind. Yo! Now the key to doing this without any risk is to have others test it for you. If someone were willing to try, Choke then after you they wake up, I would convince them they're safe from all the signals and to try running out of the school for help.
you choke yourself out. Um, I, I don't think I'd be able After to do that. Up, I would convince them they're safe from all the signals and to try running out of the school for help. If it doesn't work, I'm still one body closer to winning the death game and we've all learned something in the process. With their teacher dead, the students are beginning to feel hopeless and are too afraid to even move. This guy insists there must be a way to get rid of the hypnosis and Kashimura here agrees to help him figure out how. That's the plan. We gotta figure it out. School for clues and their teacher and they all split up. Okay. Okay. Teamwork is cute, but only one of us can survive. And when violence itself is a signal, we need to be thinking about how to trick everyone into making mistakes and let the signals do the job for us. At every opportunity, I would be trying to appear supportive and demonstrate leadership because then I can use their trust to manipulate them into triggering signals. I would start by collecting everyone's phones for no their more own phones. protection. This simple action will go a long way in earning trust because if they believe I have their best interests at heart, they'll be more likely to take my suggestions. To trust you. I would also promote fear of the unknown signals. It's by about explaining control in the crowd. Know, standing or sitting too long could be a signal. Yawning it can could be, be a signal. We simply don't know, and because many will be too afraid to make their own decisions, they are more likely to follow your lead because it's comforting to be told what to do. You gotta when take charge in a situation like this. Mm -hmm. Later in the library, this kid finds a book and is about to pull it off the shelf when Wada here takes it for himself. He opens it and realizes that this book is going to be crucial to their survival. Returning back to the really? classroom, the students reveal that all the teacher's things have gone missing and the internet's been cut off. That's when no Wada arrives, revealing he's found an English book that says the video they watched was created by a cult in the 1980s and was used for mind control, but uh, that's not all. He then tells them that it this. has a list of 50 signals and makes the student write them all down, including okay. the ones their teacher mentioned. Now Wada we got all the signals. The class that they can all survive together if they figure out the remaining signals and receives a round of applause from the class. Clapping is a signal! Command, suggesting they check out the no? library to find more books while the rest of the students organize themselves to help out. Okay, Some nice. Head out to the club room to get food Thought and drinks clapping while been others a signal. like Kashimura here write more copies of the list. Okay, these students are brimming with hope, but I wouldn't be clapping if I were them because right. there's still 48 signals, signals. they still don't know about. <laughs> I thought she was gonna die. Risk, and they fell for it immediately. Now, getting this guy to write down all of the signals from the book is a great idea because, for all we know, writing on the chalkboard could also be a signal. Oh, that was his plan to get everyone to clap because he thought it could be a signal and he'd be the last person to survive. Wow, bruh. Big brain boys, I'm the telling you. is a great idea because for all we know, writing on the chalkboard could also be a signal. And I'm not going to do anything unless <laughs> someone else has done it. That done it before now, me. As smart as this was, I wouldn't be sharing any of this information with my classmates here. Whoever controls the information controls the game. And if you know 50 signals while your classmates don't, then don't. we can easily trick them into triggering these signals. But there's also another way to do this that lets us play both sides. We can earn more trust in the group by sharing some of the signals from the book, but write down several fake signals to lead them into thinking something is safe when it's not. This One reminds of me of Death Note. Is that they can't pee their pants. I would try to encourage this to happen to my classmates by writing a fake signal that they cannot use the bathroom at all. If another signal says they can't eat rice, I'll write that they can only eat rice. Now, when these fake signals start killing people, they'll be looking for an explanation. But this is a lot easier than it sounds because there's still 48 rules we don't know about. Maybe the rule is that we can only eat brown rice or maybe that it wasn't the rice that killed them but an unknown signal that he triggered. As just, long as we cast more doubt on the game and less Twist up us, their minds. We can continue to manipulate our peers from a place of manipulate power them as much as possible. At the same time. Right. Eventually, they might figure out which ones are fake, but by then, enough people will have fallen victim to them, and we will have weeded out more students from the game. Downstairs, she the boys search the clubhouse, finding enough drinking water for the class, and this guy tells them to take it back to everyone while he searches the other rooms. Meanwhile, the soccer club members are looking for supplies, and Gen here admits he was terrified of the signals, but now that they have the list, he's confident he's, that they'll be safe. He's chilling now? Nah. They have no idea. Things are about to get even more deadly. No. Back at the clubhouse, Don't ever, this kid returns with the others to help, Don't ever let your guard down. to find that the students have hung themselves. Gen here falls to his knees in shock, but his friend Sato notices the opened water bottles on the floor and they try to it's drink water. Scene. Okay, this is a pretty tragic Drinking scene, from but it's actually bottles. the best news they've gotten all day. These guys didn't see it coming because it wasn't on the list of known signals. Now and they get a new exactly signal. Why this is the best way to win the game. We want to use these unknown signals to kill as many of our peers at once, because when one person dies by a signal, everyone else can learn from their mistake. 
If I were them, I would hide the dead bodies, bring as much water as I could carry to the main classroom, and, and let everyone, everyone drink. To hydrate and stay healthy. <laughs> I would even pretend to drink you so win. nothing seems suspicious, and it could wipe out several students at once. When your options are to die or to help others die, the choice is obvious. In the library, this girl drops a book gotta, and is about to pick win, it up when Wada here reaches for it too. She tries to take her hand back, but he holds it, inviting her to get some private time. She agrees, and they leave, going to the nurse's office to make out. But Wada a has other plans. He confesses that he actually found 60 signals in the book, explaining that one of them is touching an aroused body part and places her hand on his Wada Jr. She enters a hypnotic trance and cuts her throat open with a pair of scissors. But she's not the ah! only one who's been triggered. Wada hears something and opens up the curtains to find a dead student with his pants around his ankles. That's when he sees Sonada here standing in the doorway, and she tells him she's read the she Japanese version out. of the same book he found and has figured out his evil plan to keep 10 signals to himself. You ain't winning a lot. You got competition now, bruh. And the girl is seems like she's very smart. This man. <laughs> Watch how easy he Watch how easy he got the girl to body her. Version of the same book he found. <laughs> and that and guy figured out his evil plan. He got caught with his pants down. Himself. Okay, this guy's dong is a lethal weapon with a license <laughs> to kill. But he, he should have just watched some Gentai. This guy on the ground has demonstrated he just that some this signal can backfire, <laughs> and that's not the kind of death you want written on your tombstone. Or some now, as a up. signal to use against others, it's not very effective for killing more than one student at a time. If we want to get rid of everyone at once, there are better signals for mass targeting. So if it were me, I'd put Wada Jr. back where he belongs before I'm tempted to kill myself. Back at the classroom, Sota here reads a list of signals on the board and notices that they can't drink alcohol or coffee. But Gen here tells them they can't trust what they're told. He explains that those students who died in the clubhouse triggered a signal that wasn't on the list, and he mm -hmm. thinks Wada revealed 50 signals to gain their trust, but is keeping the rest a secret to get everyone else killed. Someone That's else got his plan. Noah enters the classroom and reveals she found something horrible in the nurse's office. They follow her back and are shocked and to find found the bodies dead bodies. of the classmates inside. But Gen here knows who did this, and moments later, the group realizes he that he's left to hunt down the kid responsible for these murders. They all leave the nurse's office to look for him and leave this girl behind as she fights away tears for her dead friend. Okay, in this death game, emotions can get you killed. And it would take crying a lot of could control be a signal. to prevent crying when people are jumping out of buildings and bashing their heads in. We could use this to our advantage because if we can't fight with our fists, we need to fight with our words. We could okay. look for an emotional individual who's just lost Try a friend to and harass her. them until they cried, putting us one body closer to being the last man standing. But there's also a nicer way to kill everyone you know, and that's to use onions. We could uh, go to the school kitchen, <laughs> literally, as, as we can find, and grab goggles from the science department. Anytime to I chop onions, eyes. I cry. We cut the onions and leave them in a room. Where you like my uh, not cry, but my eyes water really bad. Like it's not even like a funny thing. You. You really do get watery eyes from and onions. And grab goggles from the science department to protect our eyes. If we cut the onions and leave them in a room where you know people will gather, they will not be able to avoid crying because onions produce chemicals that stimulate the eye's lacrimal glands, mm -hmm. and it makes you cry involuntarily. Our lives are at stake here, and we have to use every advantage we can get. Gen here walks down the stairs and finds Wada in the hallway. He chases him through chases the building after and into the science lab, Bad he move. manages to corner him. He's got nowhere to go, and they're both worn out from running. But when Wada here takes his bottle of water to drink, he knows something's off. Wada stops himself just before taking a sip and offers it back. But that's when Kashimura enters the room. Seeing her, Wada asks if she would like a sip. But Gen intervenes, asking if drinking water is one of the signals he's hidden from the group. That's when the kid has an idea. He takes a sip from the bottle, but it doesn't trigger a signal. He then hands the bottle over to the girl, but the other student takes it away from her and drinks. As soon as he does, Wada here spits out a mouthful of water into the sink, revealing that drinking from the bottle was a signal all along. Gen here has been tricked into triggering the signal and then stabs he, himself with a broken beaker. Himself. That's when her friends arrive and they're horrified to find Gen dead on the ground. Seeing the bottle, Sota here asks if Wada killed their friend and she can only nod her head. Okay, first of all, chasing this guy was a bad idea. Because I for said all that. they know, running through the school could have been a signal. These are the kinds of running risks we're just not willing to take. And confrontation leads us nowhere since we can't use violence. It's better to spy on him so we can observe what he will do and then use it against him. Now, Wada here is not being smart about this water bottle. He's trying to trick them into drinking when they both know it could kill them. If it were me, I would confirm that I killed all of their friends to make them angry because like I said before, emotions in this game can get you killed. 
Signal right. 26 Gotta be level -headed. that you can't throw away money. So to add insult to injury, I would offer the money as an apology for killing their friends. When they throw it away in anger and disgust, it will trigger a signal, signal. and kill them. Once they're dead, I'd pick up the money and take it to the nearest vending machine for a snack. Back in the classroom, Sonada here reveals to her fellow students that there are actually 60 signals listed in the book, but oh, won't she tell them, them the last 10 because she's working with Wada. The whole class is angry, and this guy rips it out of her hands, but discovers it's actually a manga. manga? He's suddenly overtaken by a That's new a signal. signal that forces him to shove a powered light bulb into his mouth, and it lights him up like a Christmas tree. Ah! Oh, static shock and finds everyone terrified but son of the here explains she's told them about the last 10 signals suddenly this girl enters and screams at him for killing her friend but she's just put herself in the crosshairs and wada starts to come up with a plan okay he to these two body are everyone. Match made in hell this girl tricked this poor nerd into triggering a signal and she didn't even flinch but it was yet another wasted opportunity because she could have killed everyone in the entire class instead so? of withholding the 10 extra signals i would offer to give it to them and open the book in front of the entire class anyone who looks at the page and reads a single word of the manga will die and you guys want to read the book here's some gentai everyone's die <laughs> Crazy, entire fam. class. Crazy. Anyone who looks at the page and reads a single word of the manga will die, and that's going to eliminate way more players out of the game than the Instantly. way she did. Now they all know not to trust her, and she's put a target on her back for anyone that wants to get revenge. Now the if group is gonna try to fight her back. Time, she could continue playing both sides with the other students who weren't there, and appear to be interested in helping everyone survive until her next opportunity. They're to gonna try to get revenge. Students. Meanwhile, Kashimura and her friends have moved Gen's body to a club room. They're still shocked by his death, and this guy Seiya leaves to get revenge. He walks down the halls in search of water, no but his friend catches up with them, and sensing that he blames himself for Gen's death, tells him no one's at fault. That's when they see Wada cross the hallway, and they run to confront him, accusing him of hiding the remaining signals. Wada claims his only goal is to free everyone from their hypnosis, and backs away as these students begin to surround them. Promising to reveal a special signal, he holds up his hand like a gun, telling them that they can be killed if seven or more people are pointing at someone, and the group gives them a choice. They must decide which one will be killed. This guy chooses to sacrifice himself and pushes his friend Sato to the ground just as the other students point at him. Entering a hypnotic trance, he begins to strangle himself and collapses. His grip is too strong, and Sato here can do nothing to save him. Okay, this was pretty savage, and it's clear Dang. Wada has the best chance at winning right now because he has all the information. But he's also just gift a strategy to beat him, because to now we him. know a signal that we can use to gang up on All of them could just there do the same to him. There are students here who hate this guy, so I would find six others and tell them that if they join me, we Let's can go. get our revenge. Let's then body I would surround him. him and threaten to point unless he tells us the remaining signals. Once we have the information, the, information the obvious decision him. is to kill him anyways. Very this guy's smart. way too dangerous to keep alive, and he'll find every advantage over you if you don't take your best best shot at ending him. Kashimura here runs to her dead friend and tries to resuscitate him, but it's already too late. Realizing that Wada did this, she runs back inside of the building and hunts him down. Her friend runs to catch up with her, and when he finds out that she plans on stopping Wada, he decides to help. They search the classrooms upstairs and find- Everybody keep going one at a time. Why they don't travel as a group if they already know he's trying to kill everybody? Finds out that she plans on stopping Wada, he decides to help. They search the classrooms upstairs and find two dead classmates who are looking into each other's eyes. And that's when she realizes what the last remaining signals are. Together, what? they go back to their homeroom and find that something has been removed from the wall. They look for a pen and paper and start to write it all down from memory. Later, she enters the auditorium looking for Wada and finds her friend Manoa here waiting inside. But this was all a trap. Her teammates come out of hiding as they surround Kashimura and begin to point their fingers. Uh, She's no. about to be executed, but her friends come running in at the last minute. Sonada here decides they should kill Sota instead, and everyone on her side points their fingers except for Manoa, who has a crush on him, and Wada, his old childhood friend. Wow. This is part of Kashimura's plan, and plan. she has her friends point their fingers at the other team in return. With both sides at a stalemate, she reveals that she knows the signals Wada was hiding. She realized got that the, the teacher info. had 36 rules that they all had to follow in the classroom and he turned them into signals to kill his own students. This girl was late to class, these kids were using their phones, this student wasn't wearing her school uniform, and these students were staring at each other for too long. 
These 36 signals, along with the ones that Wada secretly knows, equal 100. And she shows the other team her list. That's why I said you should have okay, just stayed it <laughs> at your desk. Away, this girl's about to ruin her best chance at killing everyone. One of the teacher's 36 rules is that they can't be late to a committee meeting. And if I was Kashimura here, I would have used this to win the game and used her friend here to help me do it. First, I would have told everybody that I knew what the remaining signals were and offered to finally reveal them, asking them all mm -hmm. to meet me in the main classroom at meeting. 10 sharp. Meeting. I would then have my friend write on the chalkboard that the meeting has been changed to the other side of the school at 10.01 where we will be waiting. Because the distance is too far away to make it in time, every All single student of them get will be bodied. late and die as a result. We needed this friend to join because a meeting requires at least two people, and now we have to get rid of him to be the last surviving player and get rid of the hypnosis. Luckily, there's also a signal from the teacher that forbids you to accept a part-time job without permission from the teacher. Since I would have gotten this guy to arrange the meeting and write on the chalkboard, I'll pay him for his good work. If he accepts the money, then he will die. Because he would bodied. be accepting the responsibility of a part-time job with pay. And this leaves me, the last remaining survivor of the game. On a closer look, they begin to panic as one of the 36 rules states they can't stay overnight. And it's only a few hours until morning. Uh, if nighttime. these rules are true, then they're all going to die. Kashimura here tells them they must stop trying to kill each other and find a way to remove the hypnosis before it's too late. But their attention is drawn to the stage where Wada here is waiting. He confirms that the time limit is real and he knew all 100 signals this whole time. With the remaining students in one place, Wada here shakes up cans of sake and sprays it over the students. He doesn't get everyone, but the students who got soaked enter a hypnotic trance and die in horrible ways. No! Furious that her boyfriend is dead, Sonoda attacks him with a machete, but the violence activates a signal, signal. and she swings it into her own head. With one final push, she attacks him with a screwdriver, but only manages to knock a can out of his grip before no. dropping dead. Manoa here finds the can and picks it up, but she gets startled by a window breaking and spills it all over herself. Dummy! Now, I, I ain't misogynistic or whatever, but this is always tripping over nothing! <laughs> <laughs> they are tripping. She gets startled by a window breaking and spills it all over herself. Oh, it triggers man. her hypnosis and she slams her head against the floor until only a bloody pulp remains. Okay, uh, using the signal of bathing in sake was brilliant. He had a bunch them all of together people. and the opportunity couldn't have been better. But he didn't think of Three one key factor. Left. Spraying sake from a can isn't easy to aim. He eliminated a lot of the competition, but could barely get the spray to project any further than a couple of meters and only had a couple of cans to pull it off. If I was building a master plan, this is a limitation I wouldn't accept. Dr. Evil, this yeah. guy knows all the hundred signals, but he skipped mm -hmm. over a couple of rules that would guarantee that every single student in this gymnasium would be would dead. Would have died? Rule 19 says you can't hold your breath for 30, for 30. seconds, okay. and Rule 56 states that you can't pinch your nose. This gives us a golden opportunity here to do some real damage. I would lock all the doors and mix the strongest cleaning chemicals I can find in the school to make the most offensive smell imaginable and pour it into a spray it's bottle. I would instantly. then come back and surprise attack them by spraying cleaning chemicals in their face. The chemicals might even make their eyes water and as soon as they pinch their nose or shed That's a tear, it. it's game over. I can it's chase gone. them around, spraying until all of them are dead, and they'll have no way to it's counter done, them because they can't use violence. Wadi here runs away and leaves the gymnasium, goes back to the nurse's office to grab an empty beaker and prepares the fill of blood for his final plan. Oh, so to here no. finds him in the kitchen and confronts well, him, demanding got... to know why he didn't reveal all the rules to everyone. If he did, they could have found a way to get rid of the hypnosis, but Wada here tells him there is no other way. He pulls out a vial of blood and reveals a triggery signal if they drink this. Convincing Sota that he wants to die with him, he offers the blood to his friend. In the next Don't room, trust Hashimura him. here is watching and is about to intervene, but this guy stops her and attacks Wada. He knocks the kid to the ground but activates a signal and stabs himself Kills in the himself. gut. He dies there in the kitchen while Stop Wada being has violent. to escape. Now there's three players left, but only one will survive. Moving their friend's body to the club room, Sota here tells the girl that he found medicine that can remove the hypnosis, but he's only got two pills. Whoever doesn't take one will die, and she insists they discuss it with Wada first before they make that choice. Agreeing with her, he tells her they need to bury the bodies first, and she goes to bring something to cover them. But when she returns, he's disappeared. He's gone. She finds a note saying that it's about to be morning soon and realizes where he went. Okay, she never should have trusted this guy in the of first place. Of course not. If he has a pill that can cure the hypnosis so you can walk right out of the school, he would have taken it a long time ago. A long time There's ago. There's absolutely no reason to share it or save it for later unless it's a steamy pile of bull****. If he's feeding me lies, then I already know he's up to no good, and I would be planning Can't to trust kill him nobody. before he ever left the room. 
Now they all have only hours left to live because one of the signals is not staying at school overnight. But I would use this against him and move the clocks in the room forward to make him think it's already the it's next already, day. Because these signals are triggered time. from post-hypnotic suggestions within your own brain, then as long as he believes it to be true, he'll trigger the signal and die. She finds the two boys on the roof and he tells her that she can't take the medicine. Wada here demands to know what they're talking about and when he finds out what the pills do, he steals one but this was a trick. Soto reveals the pills are ordinary painkillers and attacks Wada, shoving him against the railing. It triggers his hypnosis and he stabs himself with a pair of scissors but he keeps on Why going, pushing Wada over the edge until he gets punched in the face. Why do they Triggered, keep he stands on the railing and throws himself off the roof. Why can't you come up with better ideas to trigger signals on someone he else, bro? punched in the face. Triggered, he stands on the railing and throws himself off the off roof. Off the roof, while gone. here bleeds out from his wounds and dies in front of Kashimura, who has just become the winner of the death game. She won! Now that it's morning, she's finally able to cry as the hypnosis has been removed just as the teacher promised. But she finds out later that his body has disappeared from campus and no one knows where it is. He's Five years later, she confronts her teacher who survived this fall and gets her revenge against him. He's Using still the alive? Same CD he used to hypnotize her friends, she forces him to watch the video and leaves him to his fate. She returns back to her old school and reflects on all that she's gone through, realizing that it's not about the journey, but about the friends you killed along the way. <laughs> but what do you think? How would you beat Signal 100? Let me know with a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, leave a like and subscribe, and check out the How To Beat playlist for more videos like this. Until next time, have a damn good day. <laughs> Ah, it's not about the journey, it's the friends. <laughs> uh, I know y'all heard that meme before. It's not about the journey, it's the friends you made along the way. This is Cinema Summary's twist on it, y'all. Man. Bagger video, guys. People being violent, knowing that's gonna make you body yourself. You should have came up with better ideas to stop the... Stop water, bro. Let me know what y'all thought of the video down in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of my reaction, if you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.